Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Humankind Let's Play as we continue our Merchant Affinity run with the Venetians. Uh, we won a small battle uh, around the city of Nemesos, and we seem to have lost Harappa. They captured it somewhere. I mean, the district boundary is kind of wide, and the city was under occupation, so they probably sent an army somewhere and took it. That's my guess. Uh, I do want to retake it, but our armies here are not exactly in the best shape. So we would like to get a little bit of help from our allies. And we do have two armies coming. We have two ways to approach this. We could alternatively siege Nemesos. It looks... Uh, well, see, these numbers only reflect the units we can see. That's where I'm a little concerned. And I'm so close to getting great swordsmen that I want to kind of upgrade my unique unit first before approaching them in any battle. So we want to just hop over here and pay to have our um, Shoteles into great swordsmen, which is a huge boost in combat strength. Which is pretty much king in this game. Right, so we'll, we'll take it slow. Are we not ramsacking because he got into a battle? Yeah, I gotta put that back on ramsacking. All right, we'll take a pretty big strength jump next turn. And we're shifting back to feudalism, which will be good for producing food. And improve our defense to peasants as well. And then chivalry afterwards so we can get those camels from our previous era. We'll be back. Well, that's one unit, a uh, longbowman. We also got an extra slot here. So we can reorganize our armies a little bit. Four hundred a pop. Oh, we can also pay to heal. Interesting. And these two can join together and we'll have three full armies and reapproach the capital there. Get moving. Harappa is really our only target here. They need one more turn to raise. I'm gonna find them another unit. So I'm gonna disrupt this for a second and we'll just pop in the cavalry actually. We'll pay for it. This army still has movement. Our ship has discovered another curiosity. I'm wondering if we should take this city first. It's kind of downhill, which is easier to attack from the north, and then we can attack downhill into Harappa again. Because I can't see where their armies are, and the ocean kind of blocks how far I can attack into the city districts. If we look at the way the city's built here, with the walls, so it might be easier for us to actually attack from the north here. So let's shift our armies around. Make full sail. Uh -huh. All right, found ourselves a curiosity. The pathing choice by the AI is really strange, but we'll get there anyways. Want to see all the fog. All right, we got the curiosity. I don't think we have How do you do? any Whoever proper you treaties because of this. Can't really afford to go to war with them, so we're going to kind of ignore their demands. And we'll loop around, we'll go back. It's fine. It's not like we want to go through this ice-filled land anyways. All right, they built the common quarter, which is slightly helpful, but not really. Um...
We could just keep building garrisons here. But since we secured most of the border, it should be relatively safe. Yeah, those are inland borders. We can farm, farm, get 15 points here, which is not enough to really counteract buildings. I feel like we should just spam a couple of these. Although I want signs from population. I actually do have one research quarter. That's probably not enough. Alright, we've got to find a place for this. I think this might actually work, because I can build farm, farm here. That's at least 15. All right, let's focus back at the war. We're going to take the safe approach and go from the north. Ooh, stepped on a curiosity there. They're done, which means we claim it. Our cavalry unit is going to join them, but first I want to claim over here. We have four armies of six right now. Our economy definitely can withstand it without any issues. That's not us, that's another pre preset steps. Downgrading our treaties. Ooh, there we go. Wait, did they just make a new city there? That feels kind of new in terms of like being a city, not a, not a district, not a territory. All right. All right, we're in. Oh, we got company. This is our strongest unit. They backed off. So that's the army that probably captured this. All right, then two, two, two on each city. We found their army, so I feel better about actually fighting them. The problem was like, if I couldn't find where their longbowmen are, it could get really ugly. But now that they're on our land, that's a different story. Yeah, that pathing, like, doesn't it waste the tiles, not just go straight? Feels weird. Oh, we got a free ship. Science. This is a great way to boost our science and, uh, and uh, influence. We really could use the help, because we pretty much just have money and nothing else. Anyone claim anything? So far, so good. Hmm. There's a good chance we can grab a bunch of them. Maybe at least two. All four would be pretty ambitious because I don't know how we can gain that much influence. Just doesn't feel cap like we're not capable of that. We don't have any special building that actually produces influence. That's the point. Alright, they're moving in. 
We have to follow them, of course. Get back on our own roads. Maybe we need to cut them off over here. Hmm, but this is all cliff. So we're gonna have to rely on the roads to do that. Oh, and curiosities too. Alright, uh, our territory is pretty flushed out. I can see how they would hate us. Um, they have made all their territory into cities, we have not. I have basically one extra city slot, but I don't want to spend the influence to make a city, since city building is slightly pricey. I want to just take this city. That would be the goal. Alright, we're at the walls. If I can just get them close enough to reinforce, we should be able to start this fight. We don't have the Musketeer, but we have these new Great Swordsmen, which should be enough. I assume they don't have another army. We are apparently the defenders again. They sorted it out. Are we only dealing with them? No. There is an army. So we have to consider like a flank. Having these high grounds. Oh, the army's right here. That's a different story. Hmm. Yeah, let's just start like this. They're gonna spread their units out, so I can't stop them from reinforcing everyone because they get to go first. But our great swordmen against their pikemen did so well. Alright, we're gonna get picked off by the longbowmen. That's the same story as ever. Alright, being on the high ground does help. Over here, they took some damage. Alright, my turn to start hitting you guys. How do I not have vision of him? <laughs> because he's blocking, perhaps? I feel like I should sort him out this way and fire from here. Can I move here? Nice. We don't want to give up this hill. Ah, uh, he moved too much. Um, so he can't fire this turn. I can't fire anyone. Let's go. Nor can I. We definitely want to go here. attack them but I can attack them that's a damage ratio we prefer now over here we are stronger all right let's focus fire we gotta force our way into this settlement oh he died now he can't climb in, because you have to be adjacent to the wall to do so, but he can just sit still. We take some damage from- do they, they just have two longbowmen this time, it's manageable, and they're gonna die pretty much next turn. They pull farther and farther back. Yeah, the improvement of the longswordsmen 
Now, the, my question is, why is our great swords, a great swordsman, looking very Middle Eastern with like a giant saber? That's a lot of damage. He can't hit anyone. It's such a useless high ground positioning. Um, we want to open the path for our other units. He can only hit him. Onward to victory. I'm gonna trust that he can kill him. He's gonna die most likely when he pulls back. I don't understand how I can't shoot him from here. He's just not healthy enough to do much. Might as well use him. That high ground's only worth some defensive bonuses. Yeah, fighting without the musketeers definitely a little bit difficult. Hmm, they did a good job swapping out over here. To the point where we can't get inside. Come on, come. Good. We still can't go inside. Oh, I can get I can cut them off. Oh, this is key. I protect him. And I can potentially kill him. Ah, uh, not all the way there, but decent enough. Now he lives. He takes some damage from him. Assuming he charged down. Yeah, but we have higher combat speed. They just have swordmen. We have great swordsmen and uh, pikemen. We outclass them. Oh, I'm trying to get inside, and this is not going to let me get inside, so I'm going to pull him back. I'm going to use the pikemen here, strengthen them, kill this unit. Didn't die. We still can't get inside until he dies. Oh, next turn. I don't think I have enough to plug the hole in anymore. All right, we got the high ground. We still got this one. Yes. Charge! <laughs> Let's go. It's just a swordman. We overpower them, even with the crossbowman in melee. There's nothing he can do. Which is just sad. Like, we're sitting on such a high ground and just like, you can't participate. Oh, the battle continue next turn. Alright, I think that's our final Curiosity uh, uh, military star for this era. Yeah, we <laughs> killed plenty of units. Hopefully we can capture a city and start attaching things to it. We might even build one city over the limit, because that seems to be the correct thing to do given that the penalty is only a little bit of influence at this point. This will happen over time, and we'll pick up a lot of district when we do pick up a city, so that will also help that. So we'll get our stars no problem, but there's no rush because um, we are just transcending, so there's no competition. Like, it really doesn't matter which one we end up getting because we're just still going to be the Venetians. I have to say the Pirateer has been a very, very good choice because of these curiosities.
Like the reward is just so great. Like for us, that's almost an entire turn of science. Because our science is so bad. Just gotta see if anything shows up. All right, another district built. This will actually increase our stability a little bit. And we do want that for food, and we'll also do that over there. Just basically keep our losses at minus five per district until we have better means, like things like max vaccination and stuff like that. Video games, those are both things that can boost us. We gotta chase them down. And this open plains, they really shouldn't have a uh, couldn't catch them. Simultaneous turns is kind of weird. Like, how do you ever catch them if it's not turn-based? Like, they have to walk into you or something. Like, if we just stay close enough, you know, we'll trigger a battle each time. But we can end things here. All right, they pull defense over here. This poor guy is going to get shot. Can't wait to upgrade our crossbowmen into um actual musketeers or whatever form of gun weapon we'll get once we get flintlock but that's that's a long time in the future Forward, march. all right i want to go inside is that such a hard wish did they oh, this, these are the last two they have okay then we'll just play defense wait for the other people to finish their the round the surround of them and they're gonna run into me every turn i think so with defense i'll do better or we'll rotate the pikemen to the great swordsman after this so that we don't lose the unit actually you come back here and boost them we're in all right, we need more things adjacent to it so we can all go in. Because it's so slow to get into a wall. Actually, you come back here. They might need help with rotating. One more round. Chivalry, good. They got... See, I don't understand how the AI is pulling these reinforcement armies. Like, where are they coming from? Are they just walking to this area? From the, from the city below them? I'm almost kind of scared to walk this guy right next to him. But apparently that, that's probably the best option we have. And why is he faded? Let's take them! The ghost armies of uh, English longbowmen. Alright, we're in. I'm gonna have him come in too, so I'm gonna use the range unit to kill him. Both of them can back off, actually. I don't want to get picked off by uh, by that longbowman. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like they have anything else, but. I don't know if that's actually accurate. It's like the only way in here. Honestly, district design for defense is an art. Like, how do you restrict the enemy in terms of how many approaches? All right, we got our tier three tenant. I've been waiting for this. And we can definitely explore some different options here. Plus 20. Alliance, we can't really do much. This is pretty straightforward. Main plaza will just be city center. Hmm. I'm going to go with this. Because the others don't really attract me. 15 flat on just the city center doesn't do much.
You guys are just chilling on the high ground if you guys can. Yeah, I want to go in, but it's kind of hard. And if we're in, I can't attack anything, nor can I can't move anything. The battle will resume next turn. Exciting. Ooh, got another ship. All right. If we combine our ships, we can probably beat uh, what the Har uh, not Harappan, what the green faction has. I'm just gonna call them by the color. But the exploring is just yielding us so much better results. Speaking of exploring, give us another musketeer. I'll take that. And these things will definitely respawn in fog, so we could like do a return journey after we, but there's still a lot of solid fog that we just never been to before. Um, yeah, we're just stuck retracking here. He's gonna be sort of living proof that things respawn, hopefully. So far, no luck, but we'll see. Population gained. How do they feel differently about I us? I would not put Hesitant. myself in this position if I feared the consequences. What happened? I think this was the result of losing Harappa, but we just haven't had time to fix it in the oversight. Greetings. Yep. To what I think I a lot of the pathing was through Harappa, and then we lost it. But worry not. We got cash. What is our war score right now? Okay, there are 57. They're, okay, we just gotta hold the city. Don't have the deals for that. A delight to see you again. Is this why our stability has been so bad? We're out of cash. Well, that's a first. Um. We lost track of them, but only one way is forward. They're probably here. We have the extra movement. Wait, how how did we lose How did we lose sight of that army? Are they here? Wait, that is scary. Where did they go? Uh huh. Well, let's wrap this one up. The Lombowman's here. Forward, march. Got it. Yeah, we got the high ground. I don't know why their unit's kind of invisible here. Different shaders, I guess. ping them for as much damage as we can. Forward, march. And then we leave it to the melee boys. These great swordsmen. And he cannot attack, unfortunately. There's nothing else we can do. Everyone else has to uh, wait for their turn. And then we get to kill him. Why don't you do the honors? Alright, the Siege of Nemesos. They have lost 10 units, we lost 0. This was a relatively clean siege. And they should be starting to dip score again. Yes. And I guess these two armies can heal a little bit and just press down from the north from a high ground attack of Harappa. And we'll pick up both of these. Yeah, I think that's going to be the game plan. Well, we discovered what happened to that invisible army. Like, where did they go? All 
Or he's going to go clear that fog. I'm going to go clear this. Hog. Not as strong as our ship. But we are very scattered, so it's not like we're ready to fight or anything. Let's go check out that camp. It should still be there. Alright, he was supposed to join one of the armies. So I'm gonna have him come back here. Maybe scout for us to what happened to that army too. Ooh, early modern Indo-Japanese. I mean, we are the early modern. We can claim a second. We've been waiting for this. And they're all available. Okay. So if we want to get a fourth tier tenant, we could go for the faith one. And the only one here that's worth getting is probably just a little bit of combat strength. I think you'll get there naturally. So I feel like the one that we are really not in a rush to get is the St. Uh, Basil's Cathedral. Machu Picchu might be the most important one for us in terms of changing population. This is obviously great for calm cities, but our cities are not exactly calm. I was thinking this middle city of Napata here... Um, since we are growing this farm region here, or actually maybe this city down here. Oh, they, they appeared. We found them. Hello. Count me in if I can. If the battle goes till next turn, he can join. Now it's a different battle. We're defenders. Reinforcements coming in with the musketeer up against longbowmen. If he takes these hills, though, it could be difficult. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to hug the edge to make sure they can't get in. They can take up the hill from this river. They go first. Oh, they put their longbowmen at the bottom. Alright, we, we destroy them then. Too bad the musketeer can't attack and move on the first turn. But he's going to just have to like slip into position somewhere. Oh, they're just moving back. Oh, Musketeer, shoot the Lumbleman on turn one. But then we can't move a second unit out, and then we get hit by three units. That's a trade-off. But it might be still worth it. It's hard for them to assault the city. Especially since we got the peasants instead of the citizens. Oh, they can assist too. Hello. Boom. Even though we can't summon any more from here, we can flood them in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get off. Now, that might be a bad idea, but I just wanted to get another unit in there. Oh, come on. We're not stronger than them, but we are from the high ground. Let's punish them. I'm on it. Get ready, attack. Get ready. Now we can pull a unit out to attack the longbowmen from behind. 
I think this ship unit, th this one might have died. What? What is with these one health holds? All right, we're going to go aggressive. Uh, that just completely ruined our plan. Can he go that way? No. Uh, one shot? Mm, I wonder what the defensive penalty is for being in water. Must be really high. Trade it. We lose a population. He dies. Someone's gonna shoot him. No? Okay. He has to move. Just to clear space. We can't fire now. Alright, we're just gonna get the units out. He's gonna die. I'm hoping these guys can... They can't attack them either, that's the thing. We can only cr create things like flanking potentially, but we can't actually participate in the fight. That's really all we can do. Not going to the water again. But they're doomed eventually, right? This army. Oh, we sh All right, they came to attack us. I thought we could kill people while moving. That'd be, that'd be really cool. All right, these guys, that's flanking. Attack uphill, which is not good, but it's probably the best we can do here. Maybe we focus on him, wipe him out first. Can you kill him? Good. Then we can summon him. Get moving. And punish him. That's really all we can do. We can't even create a flanking there, but we can do some pressure here. That's about it. Everybody else chill. He can't do anything either. It will resume next turn, but at least we found that army. Mississippians. No, no territory though. Three units. Total strength 81. Great blue hole. I think we started paying them off. No, we didn't. Now we can start paying them off. Oh, she speaking of paying people off, didn't we have a missing trade? You look different. Hair that we were going for. Make it quick. Yes, we ran out of money with you last time. I mean, as we continue this way, right, we're going to run into battlefield areas. They haven't revolted, right? We want to push towards Harappa. I'll stay on the high ground for now. I don't see any armies, at least not yet. I think this might be their only army, but we're waiting for next turn here. Hmm. I don't think we have any sort of good deals with them because of the demand right now. But would they really care that we trespass here? It's territories. It's not exactly city land. But they're sailing away. They're peaceful, at least. It was an aggressive one last time we drove by, but apparently that changed. And we're hoping to see things respawn, but I don't see anything there. 
Wait, I heard something. I don't want to discover this. All right. We finished the project. We're going to claim a new wonder and maybe work on it. The plan is Machu Picchu. And the plan is to turn one of our cities into a very heavily food focused city. And we can't build any here right now, but there's so much river here. If we just turn this all to food, but do they have a mountain where we can stick it? That doesn't count. That is a wonder. Right. I don't think there's a mountain within there. Yeah, there is no mountain there. So it becomes whether we put it in the capital, which currently has good stability, because we just built two things here. There is mountains here, and the river has more maker's potential than food potential, to be honest. So perhaps it should go into the capital again. We have all these valleys that we can turn to food. Let's see. I think we take this here. Get these tiles exploited. Just one, two, three. Okay, that's pretty fast. Um, no real infrastructure because we've been going heavily military focused pretty much. And for you, we'll help. That's it. Have a seat. Pleasant. Have a glass. Let's Good. get to know each other. Let's remember that. Let's finish them off. There we go. We did lose crossbowmen there. Not a big deal. Pathing makes no sense. Aksum lost population? Oh, from the levy dying, perhaps? Did we lose one of the? I don't think we lost any of them. Mm, we might want to wait a turn. Where have you been? Just to heal. A lot of units are pretty injured. Keeping watch. Keeping the peace. Mm, I haven't seen any curiosities in the fog that has respawned. But it doesn't mean there's not any. I'm gonna go south. I think one unit slipping across the top is enough. He's trying to rejoin them. But I can probably do it from over here. I might come join the war from the south, see if I can flank anyone. It's a weaker ship. But the boundary is solid, so we can't get through here. Speak and make it quick. I just refuse demand. It could lead to a war. They do have quite high war support, so I don't think they'll hesitate. And I don't have any armies in the north right now. And I do want to spend some time to build up. Like, after this war is over, we're going to be piecing out and just building on this land, expanding the cities. But right now, 
we're still in wartime. We did start paying them and pay them a little bit more just to boost that a little faster. We don't want to mess with them. We're just here to collect curiosities, not here to start any trouble. It's a land one. I feel like we should combine a couple of these guys together just to stay safe. We have enough running around. Well, that's it. So, tell me. Chairman, yes. You I'm glad are you as just are as coming through. All hands to station. While we're fast. Well, the cavalry cannot climb fortification, so he can only help us on this side. So actually, he's probably better off sitting on top, but it's too late. I think that one turn of heal is enough. We're going to come back and retake Harappa after taking Nemesos or Nemesos. I think everywhere else looks fine. There's no invasion from here or anything like that. And we can spare these two armies over to occupy these places for good. And after we occupy these two places, I think he's done. It'll be minus eight per turn. Plus, we'll have to win a siege here, so there'll be another minus eight. So I feel like it's going to be game over for the green faction, and we can finally take that land. A blossoming of beliefs. Religious feeling is strong across the empire, but it's not preventing discord emerging among the faithful. Uh, let's see. We can go for faith, which I don't think we need to. We can be tolerant. Increasing faith as well. We can lead. It's all faith based. So it's, let's just think about how we want to turn this. I don't want to lose science. This is not going to change anything. This is not going to change anything. On three cities plus five faith flat on tolerant. I'm going for tolerant. We're only... I think we'll get there with that. Right. So we're going to end the episode here, or else we'll be in a big fight in Harappa. We'll come back and officially siege down Harappa for the final time and hold it for the very end. We'll probably shift the troops to the border to make sure no one can retake it from the outer edge of the districts over here. Uh, but that's probably going to be the plan. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!